Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Bride of Frankenstein with a standing skirt. Now, you are going to make the standing skirt yourself. I'm not going to be doing the tutorial on this because I have about three or four different tutorials on how to make the standing skirt. You can make one which is just with the plain um, edge on the bottom. You can make one with frills on the bottom. You can make one uh, using a monster tail. You can make one using a regular loom. You can even make one when you're using the crazy loom or the looms that you can't take apart with the growing up method. I have all of those different ones on my channel. Please have a look and find out which one is suitable for you. The colours I've used are white and a glitter white. Okay, so you're going to be doing that. We are going to make the bride herself and the three colours you'll need are black and white and green. We're going to need some mini pony beads. I use the 7mm by 4mm. Alright, so we're going to get started with her hair. We're going to have our loom in the standard configuration. All columns are going to be the same height. The arrow is facing towards you. Okay, we're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them on the pegs together as if they were one. I'm going to be placing two bands at the top here, doing nothing. All right, they're just going to sit there doing nothing. And then I'm going to lay my bands down these pegs. Oops. That's not the right place to go. If you feel that your bands are getting twisted, just run your hook around the inside and they sort of untwist quite nicely. Now she does have quite big hair, so we are going to go quite far down the loom, but not all the way to the end. Oop, broken band, let's get rid of that. Now, as you can see on this one, I've come down one, two, three, four, five, and then there'll be five on the back. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. So you're skipping these two. Oops. of an odd looking band there. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> now, once we're here, we're going to stretch a single band across each of these three pegs as our crossover bands. Oops, I missed that one. Let's go back and do that. Every single one needs to have a crossover band, otherwise it'll give a great big gap. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to knock the eyeballs out of the way. <laughs> Put an end cap on each of these. So it's a single band that you wrap around your hook twice and you pop on the end. Like so. Let's loop this up, dig past the uh, end cap, and we loop up. There we go. I 
push things down a bit. That's interesting. What's that from? I've got two there and I've got... Ah, well, looky here. Salvage this. One of my fans decided to pop off here, so I'm going to go under here, grab that band, pull it back through, and loop it up. No escape artists today, thank you very much. You're looking for the teardrops um, when you loop these up you can see it's forming this little teardrop if you don't see a teardrop you know that there's a problem and you need to fix it all right what we're going to do is very carefully take things off the loom from down here okay so just gently ease things off I hate taking things off the loom from the bottom I have to admit I prefer bringing it from this way down but there we go okay make sure it does not come off from this top row just yet what I'm going to do I want to poke my hook through the end cap and attach up the top here okay on that top peg you got three end caps from the bottom to pop on the top and it's three little loops that's all you're going for the three little loops of the end cap okay once you've done that you're going to hold the uh, bands that we had here out grab them, the two bottom ones from in here, and pull up. Now we're going to leave these on a holding hook. So let's put it on a holding hook and we'll loop these two up. And we'll put on a holding hook and the last two and we'll put on a holding hook now we'll take this off stretch it into shape if you feel that it's a bit out of shape lovely jubbly all right we're going to leave this on our holding hook for the minute as you can see you've got one two three four five six six pairs okay so this is going to be her hair that we will be adding. All right, let's change our loom configuration. Pop out that middle column and make it a little bit higher than column one and three. Now we're in the offset configuration. The arrow is still pointing towards us. We're going to still be double banding. Take two bands and you're placing them on the loom together as if they were one. We're going to do the back of her hair. Take a single, stretch it between these three pegs here, and another single, and stretch it between the top three. And now we're going to use a green band, which is her skin tone, and put an end cap here. So single band, wrap it once and twice, and pop on the end here. 
Now, this is where we're going to put her hair, okay? What we're going to do is take the first, like, as you see, we've got six. You've got two here, two here, and two here. So let's take these first ones, and I've got my hook backwards, which really doesn't help me terribly much, does it? Let's move that forward. <laughs> doesn't matter which side that's fine but let's take that first the, the bands from the first column okay so it's these four little loops and get the others out the way so you can see what I'm doing and place those on that peg there then we're going to take the next four loops here we go these four and we're going to put them and it's tricky even if you take them off your holding hook and use your normal hook that sometimes is easier and then you're not dealing with the other hook so let me make sure I've got it the right way there we go this is the right way that's why it wouldn't go on properly this way not that way can you see how there's a twist there you want it to be straight down there and that goes here all right so her hair is on we're going to loop up to these three pegs dig down past the end cap grab the black bands and loop up grab the two top black bands loop to the side the next two get looped to their side push things down loop up twice once and twice now we just loop up once once and once we're now going to do her skin her skin is green so place two skin tone green bands on the middle of her face and either side push things down so you have room side two sides if you feel that the bands are twisted please untwist them because you really don't want a twisted face it doesn't look the best all right two bands for the neck a single band stretched between these three bottom pegs then now is the time for our eyes. We're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice and three times and place across the pegs for the eyes. Then we're going to take our two beads. If you don't have beads, as I said, use bands. One band wrapped around your hook four times is the equivalent of one bead. Slide on to your skin tone band and place between these two pegs. You're going to take the top part of this band and lift it up and over that peg so that it now acts as a crossover band. This part is really important. You've got the two neck bands here but underneath it here you have the crossover of the end cap. Lift the end cap up and place on top of the neck bands. That ties the back of the hair in and that's really important all right let's do our little bride so we've got some green bands for her neck and her shoulder area then we're switching to white bands as I said we're still double banding so two oops So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Now we're moving to, to her skin tone, her green. This will be four as well. center to the right we do two from the center to the left we do two come here you push down we're going to put an end cap here single band wrap once and twice and pop that on the end like that for her shoes Take two green bands, I'm sorry, two white bands, two white bands, wrap around your hook once and twice. You're going to take another two white bands and slide those on, okay, like that. Now, if you find it tricky doing it the other way, push that down a bit, don't reclaim it just yet. Take another two bands and wrap once and twice and then reclaim those, okay. We're sliding these on to two green bands. All right, I'm trying to pretty them up. Reclaim the end of your green bands. Angle your foot and pop it on the end of one leg. And we do the same for the other side. Once and twice. Slide on to two. Don't reclaim yet if you don't want to. Up, do two white, wrap once and twice. Now reclaim and slide on to two green. Reclaim the end, angle your foot, and position here. Now let's do her arms. A single green band, wrap it once and twice, and we're sliding onto three pair of green. So there's our first pair. Our second, oopsie, second pair. And our third pair, you're putting it on the end of the hook and sliding these over. Now we're doing some white bands two white bands on the end of your hook slide on like that keep this close you can get another two okay and we're going to slide these on like that and reclaim and then put this one on and two bands slide on and reclaim you now have four sets of loops there take another two white and slide them all on reclaim and that's your puffy sleeve and we'll pop that on her shoulder okay let's do the same again on the other side single wrap once and twice three pair here's our first pair our second pair and our third pair slide onto a pair of white but don't reclaim okay take another two slide that white on making sure that the green doesn't fall off the other end pull it close reclaim the end now we do slide these all over like so and pop on her shoulder. We need some crossover bands so I'm going to take a single and stretch it across her hips. I'm going to take a single and stretch it across her bust line. These two I'm going to take a single I'm going to stretch it figure eight, loop it on itself and stretch it over those three pegs and the same again single stretch 
and stretch across those three pegs. Right, I believe we're ready to start looping up. Dig down and we just loop to the peg above us. Loop up and up. Dig down past the end cap, grab the two top white bands and loop over. Same this side and then the same for the middle. So one, two, three and four. Dig down, find those two bottom white bands. And this side. Let's loop the arms in, dig down and find the two green bands and the next two green bands and then the chest to the neck. Dig down, find the two bottom ones and loop them up. Now we're going for the face. You're going for the top green bands and looping to one side. The next two which get looped to their corresponding side now I could feel that there was something wrong there and put that back. I'm going to twist my hook around and let's see if I can do that right. There's one, there's two and there's two here and two more. We're going just for the green bands here. And again just for the green bands now we dig down and find those two black bands make sure you push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook go for this middle one up here the two sides there's one and there is two now we want to tie off with two black bands but really I want to tie off at the back of her head so I'm going to dig my hook down past all of those bands and poke it out the side here okay I'm making sure that I've gone through all of the bands grab the two black bands on the end of my hook and I'm pulling them back through okay I'm not going to tie off just yet I'm going to put one here and scritch her hair down one here and I'm going to take her off the loom like this okay because what I'm actually going to do is let go here and I'm going to try I'm going to hold this I'm going to stab her through the center of her hair with my hook through the center grab the two black bands from the front and drag them back to the back of her hair and this is where I will tie off like that okay then let's take her off the loom oops hit the camera stretch her out a bit pull her arms up and down okay so she's got her little shape here now these two bands we can hide inside her hair so you've got this area here that you can poke your hook in stick your hook through the the back here wherever you can I'm going to try and get it quite close maybe just through here come on there we go grab those two bands on my hook of course I've got a big hook And pull them back inside her hair okay like that now she obviously has the white sides up her hair so get some white bands we're going to be using two white bands at a time push your hook through 
these two sides like that so you've got the loop here but you're going through the two on that side and two on that side grab two bands white and you're going to drag them through like this then you're going to go through the two outside bands there and the two outside bands there and reclaim grab two more white bands and we drag back through and again we're going to go through the two outside bands here and the two outside bands here and reclaim grab the two white bands and pull through oh I nearly lost one come back you <laughs> okay through the two outside and the two outside get your white bands and drag through wow I'm not doing a good job of the dragging through am I come back there we go and our last one through the two two top black ones there and two black ones there reclaim the end of your bands now this time I'm going to tie off with a single black band drag it through reclaim the end slip knot up over and off and pull tight okay I'm going to slip my hook through the center here I'm going to grab that end that tie off and drag it back through into the inside of her hair like that so that's one side let's go to the other side we're going to go through these two here and here and grab our two white bands and mess it up <laughs> pull it through through these two outside and come here these two outside and reclaim now I'm just checking I think I went a little low on that one I think I went to huh? this one and this one I did and nope I dropped one try and keep that taut drag it through there we go the next two here and here reclaim the end of your bands keep this taut pull it through here and nope sure I get the right ones here we come in pull through and here and here now I'm going to go a little higher because I can see that I've just I want it to be equal so I'm going through these two here at the top I think I started lower on the other one here and here because I've got four this side I want four this side so I'm going to grab my black band now and pull through reclaim and slip knot like that now this this time it's it's trickier to hide it because you, you want to come in through the back side here grab the band and pull it through but then you've got it sticking out here so then you have to sort of jiggery pokery a bit to hide it but it will hide inside her hair like so now obviously she is going to be a bit top heavy she's got a great big beehive thing happening here um, for your skirt once you've made your skirt um, you grab a spoon to put her into it 
grab your spoon, stretch your skirt over it like so, pop her feet in, wiggle her all the way down so that her waist, so it looks like she's sleeping in the spoon bed. Okay, so wiggle her in, pull the spoon out, and just shuffle this around a bit. You can hide the back of the skirt, the loops at the back of the skirt by poking them in again. But effectively, and she does stand, but you have to sort of, well, she's standing a bit lopsided. <laughs> Maybe she's a pain in the neck, <laughs> but there she is. There is our little bride of Frankenstein. I hope you enjoy making her. Take care.